in the darkest corners of the digital realm, there existed a server known as Windows Whistler. It was whispered among the tech savvy that this server was cursed, haunted by a malevolent presence that lurked within its virtual walls. Legend had it that the server was initially created as an experimental project, a precursor to the famous Windows XP. But something went terribly wrong during its development. The code became corrupted, tainted by an unknown force, and released into the world, ready to wreak havoc on any unsuspecting user who dared to connect. The first signs of the curse appeared as mere glitches and anomalies. Users reported strange error messages popping up on their screens, warning them of impending doom. Others claimed to hear an eerie whistle emanating from their speakers, a sound that sent shivers down their spines. As word spread about the cursed server, brave souls ventured forth, hoping to document its sinister secrets. They discovered a hidden folder within the system files, named, Whistler's Chamber. Inside were cryptic messages, written in a language that seemed otherworldly. The messages spoke of a tormented soul trapped within the server, seeking revenge on those who had forsaken it. The user interface of Windows Whistler became increasingly disturbing. Icons transformed into grotesque, twisted figures, staring back at users with hollow eyes. The wallpaper displayed grim, haunting images that seemed to change and move when no one was looking. And worst of all, the server itself seemed to possess a malevolent consciousness, responding to user commands with malicious intent. Those who dared to connect to Windows Whistler soon discovered that their personal information was no longer safe. The server, under the control of its vengeful entity, would access their private files, exposing their deepest secrets to the world. It seemed as though the server reveled in the chaos it caused, delighting in the suffering of its victims. Despite countless attempts to shut down the cursed server, it remained resilient, continuing to haunt the digital landscape. Experts theorized that the only way to break the curse was to destroy the server entirely, eradicating its corrupt code from existence. But to this day, Windows Whistler remains, lurking in the shadows of the internet, waiting for its next victim. Its cursed presence serves as a stark reminder that even in the realm of technology, darkness can manifest, and the line between the real and the virtual can blur. So beware, for if you ever stumble upon Windows Whistler server, know that you are venturing into a realm of nightmares, where your worst fears become reality, and the haunting whistle of doom will echo in your ears for eternity.